Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. My name is Sarah, if you're new here, I make a video about once a week all about beauty, makeup, skincare, anything like that. I just enjoy it and do it for fun. So today I am going to be doing kind of a comparison demo of the bronzing drops and like glowy lotion drops that I have in my collection right now. I have four to go through. So we're going to, I will show you what it looks like on its own on the back of my hand. I'm going to mix it with moisturizer on one side of my face and then mix it with foundation on the other side of my face. For my moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Water Gel Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. And for foundation, I'm just going to be mixing in my L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum Foundation. This is almost gone, but it's a lighter coverage foundation, which is typically what I wear in the summer. And that's when I'm going to be wearing these bronzing drops. So it felt like the foundation that made the most sense for this demo. In terms of other things that I'm wearing, my hoop earrings are from Amazon. I will link those below. My lip combo, I am loving right now. It is my Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. This is in my Project Pan. And then the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in Unbuttoned on top. This is one of the Sephora birthday gifts for this year. I highly recommend. I convinced my mom to pick this up for her birthday gift too. So it just, the color combo is really nice and I like the feel of this. And I feel like once I run out of this, I might go buy a full size because that's how much I've been enjoying it. And then, oh, my sweatshirt. I've got my Team USA sweatshirt on because the Olympics are starting later this week. Let me know if you're going to watch them and what your favorite sport is. I am all about the Olympics. I love both the summer and the winter equally. So always look forward to that. So wanted to rep, rep that. So that is what we have going on today. So if you want to see me demo the four bronzing drops and products, then just keep watching. All right, so the first product I have is the Lumi Glotion. And this, this is not really like a bronzing drop, but I wanted to show this one as well because it is still like a very glowy option that I could use the same way that I'm using the bronzing drops. So I'm going to do the same thing that I'm going to do with those. I'm going to apply one half of my face with this mixed with some of my lotion. And then the other half, I'm going to put some foundation, like mix it together and apply foundation that way. So just to show you first kind of what it just looks like on its own, I have the shade um, light. So if you were to just wear this, you could also wear any of these on their own, but that's just not how I personally am going to wear them. So I just wanted to show you if you were to wear it on its own on the skin, it does give quite a glow. So, and at least the Glotion, like, I guess it technically already is like a lotion, but I'm still going to do a little bit of my Neutrogena cream as well and just mix that together. So we'll do that on this side of the face. So I definitely think out of the three, you know, the Glotion is more of the light color. I didn't get like a darker color because I didn't want it to be overly bronzy. I just wanted this one to be more like the glow. So when you put this on, even mixed with your moisturizer, you're not going to see that light color difference. Whereas we may with the bronzing drops, because they're obviously going to be more bronze and this is just more of a glow. Okay. So you can definitely see that side of my face is more glowy than this side, I would say. But now let's kind of do a little mixing with the foundation. So I think I'm just going to do like a really small pump on the back of my hand. Same thing, a little dot of this to mix in. And then we'll just use a foundation brush. And since this is a serum foundation, it already, like, it's not super glowy, but it's definitely that more, like, dewy look in general. But this is a way you can use the Glotion and get maybe a little bit of shine and a tiny bit of coverage as well. So it definitely, you know, mattifies a little better. This is very shiny, glowy. This is a little more evened out glowy. So just to kind of show you 
the difference. Of course, it the problem too is I do have some like scarring and stuff. So if I don't use any foundation or concealer in those areas, it's gonna, I feel like the lotion especially, it just kind of accentuates that texture. So that's not the best. So I definitely prefer this side. And as I said, it's definitely, you know, the glow is tamped down a little bit, but just so you kind of have that comparison. Okay, so let's move on to some actual bronzing drops. So I'm gonna wipe my face off and then we'll do the same thing with the bronzing drops. So the first bronzing drops we're going to try out is the Uncommon Beauty Bronzing Drops. This is a brand that was developed by Kristen Cavallari. So I have a lot of her jewelry. Um, Uncommon James Jewelry line is really good. So this does say to shake. It's going to shake well. And on the back, the directions say you can mix with your uh, lotion or use on your own and that you can build it up by adding more drops. But I'm just going to do, whoa, did a big drop on the back of my hand by accident. But you can see the difference. This is quite dark actually. So definitely a like thinner, wetter formula. And so yeah, if we do this on its own all over our face, that would add quite a bit of color, I would say. So I'm definitely going to do the moisturizer mix in cut to kind of maybe tone that down a little bit yeah so i would definitely say with this one so far at least with the moisturizer like a little bit goes a long way in terms of the bronzing drops like it gives a decent amount of color okay so that is mixed into moisturizer moisturizer Again, I see a little bit of difference, like definitely more glowy, a little more bronzy, but I do feel like on its own, just with the moisturizer, it's like really clinging to and accentuating those areas where I do have some scarring and texture. So that's not super ideal. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, do a little squirt of foundation, and then try and do a little bit less of the bronzing drops than I did the first time. So let's see. Okay, so much like the lotion, definitely the side with the moisturizer and the bronzing drops alone is going to be more glowy. You're gonna get more of that color of the bronzing drops, but then the side with the foundation, I do feel like it's still added a little bit of glow, just maybe not as much as I was expecting. These seem to be the least glowy and more just like purely about the bronze color, if that makes sense, but there is that. I do like the texture of this. It's not as like wet or liquidy. It was like slightly more thicker than my other bronzing drops. So that's something that's a little different as well. But yeah, so that is the Uncommon Beauty bronzing drops mixed with moisturizer and mixed with foundation. Okay, so I will wipe this off and then we'll move on to our next bronzing drop. All right, so next for bronzing drops, we have the e.l.f. bronzing drops. And I know I tried these out in a previous video like really quickly. So I will link that below and, but this time I'm going to do the different application. So I think they also came out with more shades of this recently, but I have the rose gold. So again, with all of these, you definitely want to shake well. And then on the back, this says add one to three drops to your favorite moisturizer, body oil, body cream, and then more drops will equal more bronze. So shake well. So definitely feel like I'm getting way more of like a shine glow from this than I did from the Uncommon Beauty ones. Like I definitely see more shimmer going on in there. So seems a little more subtle than the Uncommon Beauty one too. This is a little less of that like bronze brown and more of the rose gold undertone. So let's do the moisturizer test. It also might depend um, how it looks based on what type of moisturizer you're using. I'm using my all-time favorite Neutrogena, the gel cream. So it's got more of that gel consistency. Whereas if you were to use more of a straight up like lotion type moisturizer, it might be 
a little bit of a different texture. And I feel like because of how moisturizing this is the hyaluronic acid and it's a gel, I do feel like it's going to be a little more of that like shiny wet look in general. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Okay, so there it is with the moisturizer. I do feel like it's a little more subtle, as I keep saying in the Uncommon Beauty one. So it just depends what you're going for. Again, the scarring and texture on my face does not help, but let's do with the foundation now. And again, same with the foundation. It depends what type of foundation you're using. I'm using a serum one, which again, is just gonna have more of that dewy look in general. But as I said, that's just typically what I prefer to wear in the summer. And that realistically is what I'm going to be using bronzing drops most often, I think. So if you were to use maybe a slightly different formula for a foundation, like a thicker one or a more full coverage one, you know, it might look very different. So just take that into consideration. But in terms of realistically when and how I'll be wearing this, I figured this was the best demonstration. So honestly, I feel like I don't see much of an addition when I did the foundation. It's so much more subtle than the other bronzing drop I just tried that I feel like Maybe there's like a slight glow and bronziness to the foundation, but not enough for me to really like notice and maybe want to take that extra step. So the e.l.f. one might be better to use on its own or like I think some people they use it as like you put it in the areas where you really want to be bronze and like kind of focus it there and then do your foundation on top of that kind of like the cream bronzer type application. So it might be better for that. but. If you want something way more subtle and like easier to blend in and that won't kind of be like I feel like you couldn't really mess this up that bad so and these are definitely affordable but yeah that is what that looks like moisturizer and elf bronzing drops foundation and bronzing drops all right so we've got one left and it's the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Bronzing Drops. So I will be back in a second to test this out. And I have not even tried these before, so this will be a true first impression, whereas the other three products I have been using and trying for the past like month or so. So this will be exciting that it's a true first impressions. All right, so last but not least, we've got the Milani Conceal and Perfect Bronzing Drops. I have it in the shade 110 Light. So again, as always, we're going to shake really well. Okay, so on their own. Okay, so based off of that, I would say texture-wise and the amount of glow I'm getting, I feel like this is similar to the Lumi Glotion, just with a slightly more bronze pigment. That is what those felt like. They didn't feel overly like liquidy. Basically, are we just creating lotion right now? Probably. Yeah, I think on this one, the adding the lotion kind of tamped down the color quite a bit. So honestly, it's giving me like a very similar effect to the lotion because of how like light it turned out once I mixed the moisturizer in, diluted it, I guess, which is not a horrible thing, but it's just something to think about, especially, you know, all of these products too, I typically buy the lightest shade of because I am normally quite pale. So I worry that if I get something too dark, it will just kind of like be too orange or way too dark and like just kind of make you look patchy and weird. So that's something else to consider. Some of the darker shades, if you were to mix it in the lotion, might show up more in the darker color. So just think about that. But now let's add the foundation.
And since this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect line, I am seeing and feeling like when I mix it with the foundation especially, I'm actually getting a little bit of coverage and concealing. Like I feel like you can, obviously I still have like marks on my face, but I feel like they are evened out and covered more than they were being covered when I was doing the foundation with any of the other bronzing drops. So that is, in my eyes, a pro. I like that, personally. Okay, so this is the side with the lotion and the bronzing drops only. Again, nice and subtle. Tiny, you can see a tiny bit of color. And this is the side with it mixed in with foundation. And I'm getting some coverage. It's covering some of my acne marks. I look a little more evened, but still glowy, but not overly glowy or dark. So that is that one. So let me gather my thoughts and then be back to tell you how I feel about the four of these products. All right, so I'm back. I did the rest of my face makeup after I added foundation with the Milani drops on this side of my face. So that's kind of what it looks like when I add a little bit of cream brush, um, a little tiny bit of bronzer. But yeah, I definitely feel like I do look glowy and bronzy, but let's talk about my rankings and some of my thoughts on these glowy products. So I think in terms of color payoff, if you want a bronzing drop that is super bronze and is going to add that actual bronzy glow, I think the Uncommon Beauty and the e.l.f. do the best at that. The Uncommon Beauty is definitely the darker of the two. I, again, I got the rose gold shade in this, so maybe if you got a different shade, these would be a little more bronzy, but these definitely will give you that color payoff if that's what you're looking for. Now, if you want just more of that more subtle undertone of glow, but still have a tiny bit of bronze, that's what the Milani is good for. I really liked this. I That's why I kept it on at the end, not just because it was the last one that I used, but I feel like I like the look that this one gave me maybe the most with the foundation because I think maybe that extra conceal and perfect kind of added that little bit of extra coverage and really did kind of even out the skin tone a little more than the other products. And then in terms of the lotion, it's literally what it says. It's a glowy lotion. And again, since I got this in the light glow, it really is very subtle. It's not adding any extra color or pigmentation to my face when I put it on. So this is really nice to just add that extra glow underneath or mixed in with a foundation. Since it's already a lotion, I wouldn't necessarily say you need to mix this in with a moisturizer, but I do really like this. So it just depends what look you're going for and what you want like the overall vibe to be. So I feel like most often going forward, I'm probably gonna be wearing these but then on days, if I just want that little bit of extra bronziness, I will pick one of these. Now, in terms of price, these relatively are all drugstore. I'd say the Uncommon Beauty ones are probably the most expensive. However, I believe I got mine on sale, Uncommon James or her brand. They do sales relatively often throughout the year, so that might be a time to think about picking this up. But in general, I don't think these are terribly expensive when they're full price compared to other brands that we've seen come out with glowing drops, like at Sephora, like the higher end brands. And then definitely the e.l.f. is gonna be the most affordable. I will put the prices of all of these on the screen as I'm talking. And then I think the Milani and the Lumi are pretty comparable in price. And I think both times when I bought these, I bought these both at Ulta and I was able to use some sort of coupon that I had at the time. You can always buy drugstore things, even the e.l.f at Ulta and use coupons and then you earn your alt points. So yeah, that is everything for the four kind of bronzing glowy drops that I have right now in my collection. I definitely think four is too many, unrealistic. I, I Am I ever going to fully use up all of these? I don't know, but I'm sure is that gonna try. And it was really fun to test these out. I know this is a super big trend right now. But yeah, so I hope that demonstration kind of helped you show what they look like with the different levels of coverage. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment below letting me know if you've tried any bronzing drops, any of the ones that I mentioned, or any different brands, higher end drugstore. Let me know what's out there and what you thought of them and how you like to use them. 
and please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified of all of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.